Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of prime factorization and order of operations. This is standard 6.7a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 46 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a fairly straightforward problem today. We need to find the prime factorization of 110. The problem is, is if you don't know what that term means, then you are out of luck. There's nothing on your answer document, and there's nothing in this problem. There's nothing even on your equations and formula chart that's going to help you with this. So our key term here is this word factor. So in, if you ever get stuck, you are looking for factors of numbers. That means we're dealing with multiplication. And when we're dealing with prime, we are dealing with prime and composite numbers. So that's going to be our other clue here is prime. So prime numbers only have two factors, one and itself. So one and itself. So a perfect example would be two. 2 is prime because the only way to get 2 is 1 times 2, or 2 times 1. 3 is prime because the only way to get to 3 is 1 times 3. 4 is not prime because you can get 1 times 4. You can always do 1 times itself, but you can also do 2 times 2. So that would make it composite. So that's just a real quick prime and composite. So let's take a look at 110. So this is how we do it. We think of it like a Christmas tree. And so we think of what are two numbers that we can use to multiply to get up to 110. Well, it's even. So anytime you have an even number, you can always do 2 times something. So let's say 2 times, and then you might not know what it is. We could just double 55. You can divide 110 by 2 if you want to. 2 times 55, that makes 110. Now what we do is we circle any prime numbers. That means we're done. That's why we call it a Christmas tree, because they look like ornaments. So 2 is done, but 55 is not done yet, because it, it ends with a 5, so it can be divided by 5. So let's think 5 times 11. Now those are both facts. Now 5 is prime. The only way to get to 5 is 1 times 5. And then 11 actually also happens to be prime. The only way to get to 11 is 1 times 11. And once you get past 2, no even number will ever be prime past 2 because you can always divide it by 2. So now we just put this up in order and we just say 2 times 5 times 11. Always list them in order. And look at that. You've got your answer here is J. So let's just take a look at some of these incorrect answers. So this H is actually pretty sneaky because you you know it's supposed to be 11 and 2. Take a look what this 22 does because 22 times 5, right, it is going to make 110. So that's correct. The problem is is you've got this 22 and that 22 is not going to be prime. That's a composite because you can make that 2 times 11. This is actually how they got there. They did 110. Another way to break it down, not just 2 times 55, there's more than one way, is there 5 times 22. So if you did 5 times 22, and you know it's divided by 5 because it's got a 0 at the end there, and they just said, oh, 5 times 22, we think 22 is prime, but 22 is not, you have to do 2 times 11. So you notice you're going to get the same three numbers, 2, 5, and 11, just in slightly different orders. So that's incorrect. And what we have here is we've also got this 2 and 5 and 5 and 2. So take a look at this. These two right here, they just take these same, uh, the same digits and they just flip the 2 and the 5 and the 5 and the 2. That doesn't work. So one last way we could do 110 is we can also divide by 10s, right? So it's 11 times 10. And that's where the 2 and the 5 come from, because they think, oh, 2 times 5 makes 10, which it does, but 11 is going to be prime. We have to break down 10 into 5 and 2, and there we go.